with the exception of tomorrow with the wind. That's what our major concern is with Lee going by to our east is the wind. Now the cloud shield is already starting to push into Connecticut. You can see some rain bands just to the south and east of Connecticut. That is in association with Hurricane Lee right now a category one storm with winds at about 85 miles an hour. 5 p.m. tonight we're under mostly cloudy skies. Midnight tonight, we're under mostly cloudy skies. Dining out tonight, you might want to grab a sweater or a sweatshirt, giving you that first alert. Temperatures, again, are going to be a little on the cool side. Now, midnight through 5 a.m., the storm really starts to move in. Here's the Connecticut-Rhode Island border. Unfortunately for Rhode Island, they're going to get some showers, but for us, I think we're going to be okay. Keep your fingers crossed, and then during the day tomorrow, the storm system makes a departure, and we get back to some nicer weather. Hurricane Lee, 85 miles an hour, moving north at 16 miles an hour. That's, that storm's booking, and it's going to continue to book and fall apart as it makes its way into Nova Scotia. So good riddance, Lee. We'll say goodbye to him on Saturday afternoon. All right, uh, high clouds today, filtered sunshine becoming breezy tomorrow. Morning shower chance in northeast and southeast Connecticut. Winds gusting 30 to 40 miles an hour. That could be some, uh, bring some isolated power outages and maybe bring a couple of trees down. So keep your eye out. If you have uh, trees that have compromised uh, root integrity due to the fact that we've gotten so much rain, just keep an eye out on things. We're giving you that first alert as well. This is the uh, American model, dry. And the European model, just some scattered shower activity in northeast and southeast Connecticut. So we'll see which one wins out. I'm hoping for the GFS.